A dirty dining gets a run around on a roach problem. The nothing to see here defense might work on some people, but as you'll see, it doesn't work on 13 chief investigator Darcy Spears. In tonight's dirty dining, roaches and repeat offenders, the infestation that shut down a local Japanese restaurant, plus a food truck that seems to be trying to start a dirty dining dynasty. It's been on our show five times in the last six years. We begin with an unusual interaction at Kuben Sushi and Bento on Fort Apache and Tropicana. It was shut down June 19th for a multi-generational cockroach infestation, and it also got 38 demerits. Can you guys tell me what happened with the roaches? No, there's no roaches. It's well, there bad. were. That's why the no, restaurant was uh, shut down. Uh, there's, a, no, the there's, yeah, there's no comment. Yeah. There's no comment, yeah, no comment yeah. but there were roaches. No, there were no. So the health. Have you guys need to see a copy of the health inspection? Owner Tae Hui Kwan interrupts, asking how we know about their closure. No, man, did you, did you see the, the, the paper was a, on, on the door the, the, when it was shutting down? Referring to the pink health district sign, the agency posts as a notice to the public on every restaurant they shut down for an imminent health hazard. No, I have a copy of the health inspection from the Southern Nevada Health yeah, District. It doesn't say any of the roaches in there. Yes. It, it, oh, it, it, yeah, it, it does. The, no, it does. Do you want me to get it and pull it up and show it to you? Yeah. So we do. And you can see here, this is the list of imminent health hazards, gross unsanitary occurrence or conditions, including pest infestation. So that's the check mark in that box. Further down in the violation details. Pests observed in facility. Multi-generational cockroaches live and dead throughout facility under the sink, on the floor, under the cook line in the fryer cabinet, shelf next to pans used for cooking. That's the very first violation on this report, and it's the imminent health hazard that caused you to shut down. And there are plenty of photos to support the inspector's observations. Are you still saying there's no roaches? That there weren't any when the health district was here? Well, what do you want me to do? Because I'm already dealing with the health department and then everything is clear right now. But what do I have to say to you? Kwan claims the health inspector advised him not to talk to us. But when you look me in the face and tell me that there was never a roach infestation and I have the proof right here that there is, it's going to make our viewers concerned that you're trying to hide something. He reiterates that he's following the inspector's instructions about commenting on camera. So are you still saying there's no roaches or is the health district wrong? No, they, they were right. They yeah. were right. I'm not, I'm not okay. saying they were wrong. Yeah. And he didn't want to say any more about any of the other violations. A food handler touched his hair and continued with food prep without washing his hands. Chicken made two days prior was being held at an unsafe temperature in the make table and had to be thrown out. A bulk bag of flour was left open and unprotected from potential contamination. Inspectors found a can of Raid the restaurant was using to spray its floors, which is not allowed due to the potential to contaminate food. They were using a dry wiping cloth with no sanitizer to clean sushi knives and cutting boards, excessive old food, dirtied floors and equipment, and hood filters over the cooking area were caked with dirt and dust. Kuben reopened June 24th with an A grade. Repeat offender Smokey's Bistro at Hawaiian Marketplace on Las Vegas Boulevard in Harmon tied with Kuben for the highest demerits. Smokey's got a 38 demerit C grade on its June 14th inspection. We don't have photos to go along with this report because the inspector's cell phone was stolen while on property, so the photos were lost. Smokies had moldy strawberries in the make table ready to be served to customers and slimy expired mushrooms in the fridge as well as two expired containers of half and half, one of which was a month old. Other notable violations included mold in the ice machine and dirty cutting boards. A food handler told inspectors they only wash cutting boards once daily at the end of the night. No one responded to our request for comment. Multiple time repeat offender Antojitos Guayabitos food truck was shut down on Nellison, Washington on June 17th for inadequate refrigeration. It also got 25 demerits. Inspectors say it was a new truck that didn't have valid license plates and the VIN number plate had been removed. The grade card wasn't posted and the one they had wasn't even theirs. It was from a different truck. 
As for the food, pico de gallo, ceviche, tomato and cucumber salad, raw fish and raw shrimp all had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures, and beverages for sale to customers were submerged in contaminated water filled with old food and other particles. Owner Jorge Serrano was required to attend a food safety assessment meeting with the health district. He did not return our call or text for comment. A Korean fried chicken restaurant simply named Barbecue Chicken on Silverado Ranch in Maryland Parkway was shut down June 17th for inadequate refrigeration. It also got 30 demerits. An employee touched their cell phone, then handled food without washing hands. Four boxes of expired heavy cream in the fridge had to be thrown out, as did a container of expired kimchi. Tons of food was tossed due to unsafe temperatures. Soda nozzles were dirty and the ice machine was moldy. Barbecue chicken owner Emmy Proferosa sent a statement saying it was a day of bad luck and timing. Our walk-in cooler broke down at the same time the inspector came. We had our contractor on site right away trying to fix the refrigeration, but we needed a new compressor. The next day, we passed inspection. Barbecue Chicken reopened June 18th with a zero demerit A grade. Fusion Street Food Truck is our final imminent health hazard closure, also due to inadequate refrigeration. Details on that and some interesting insight from the owner on our website at ktnv.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.